giving you all the updates, giving you everything you need to know about Qatar, everything you need to know about the jobs, the labor law, some of the articles that you definitely need to know and you did not know. What did you need to know exactly for you to make it over? I talk most of these things because of the life experience that I've gotten in the car. It has taught me a lot, I've learned a lot, and I always want to help people such that we don't fall in trouble. I want to talk about what you call security guards. Today, I want to address myself straightly. I want to tell you everything about the latest information regarding security and what you need to know. There's a lot of changes that are happening into the country, into Qatar, into the Gulf countries regarding these jobs, especially even security jobs. Most of you may not be aware, but true. Today, I want to talk about what you call the Ministry of Interior Badge. Most of you do not know that badge. Is the license, the Ministry of Interior license. This is what I'm talking about. I know most of you have such kind of thing. It's called the Ministry of Interior license. This one is for private security individuals. All private companies in Qatar, their guards or the security guards employee must have this badge. It's becoming mandatory. Hopefully by 2024, we shall see that every security guard for you to be given up a job or for you to be recruited as a security guard, your company has to get you this. You must undergo what you call the basic security, private security training. I think people are living in the UAE, people are living in those countries. You definitely know what I'm talking about. We have the SILA licenses. And they're getting good money because of the licenses they have. The more the license you have will give you more money at one level, which is actually also introduced getting on here. By 2024, we shall have no more security guard will be allowed to operate without what you call a license or what you call a security, a Ministry of Interior badge. Yes, we talk about the Ministry of Interior badge, the OM or I license. You must pass an exam, you must do exams. However it may be, even if it is one paper, it is an exam. For the exams, even if it is two questions or 20 questions, don't take there are only five questions they ask. Yes, it's an exam. When you pass it, you'll have the card. When you pass it, you'll have it with you. You definitely have the card with you. It's quite very important to have it you. It distinguishes you, or it distinguishes you from what you call a normal security card. Because you have the basic training, which will include the fire, which will include customer evacuation, which will also include what you call the customer handling, or how you have to deal with most of the security matters. However, something that I need to let you know, for people who are using these cards, if you're a security guard, you must be very careful also. Most of our details, or most of your details, is with this card. That's why it will bear what you call your QID. It will bear what you call your QID number. Meaning that the data that is encrypted on this barcode, it is the same data you have in your QID. So avoid falling in trouble, or avoid going in places or avoid making trouble because already they have this and once they realize once every or once police realizes that you have the license of security guard and you are caught into trouble it will be a penalty for your company they will penalize your company and sincerely letting you know once this falls in the eyes or falls in the ears of your company your company will not hesitate they will just deport you and take you out. Because they never want to get the penalty that is not done for them. For someone who's trying to be professional and is acting unprofessional, that is this card. Most of you are not taking it lightly, but you know this card puts you in trouble. And this card puts your company in trouble. So you should be very careful once you have this Ministry of Interior card and you're in Qatar here. I know most of you, most of people have been taking it lightly wherever you have to go. No, this is a no joke. Yes, it's a joke. Or it becomes a serious joke when you get into trouble. And they realize that you're a security guard in the private sector. You have what you call a government license or what you call a license, a security license, fully trained and you're doing something else. Thank you so much. Hope I've tried to share up something for you. And see you again in the next video. We shall be talking about more or more things that you definitely need to. Remember, it's mixed. And if you're suffering from first time coming to the channel, please subscribe. Don't forget.
Give a link, please. Subscribe and support. See you again in the next.